हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम टू माय चैनल आइए हम बात करते हैं एनाटॉमी ऑफ द वेजाइना विथ इट्स डेवलपमेंट इन रिलेशन टू द कंजेनाइटल मालफॉर्मेशन ऑफ इट सीन इन गायनिकोलॉजिकल प्रैक्टिस पार्ट टू जिसमें सर्विक्स के बारे में जानेंगे सबसे पहले द सर्विक्स ऑफ द नॉन प्रेगनेंट यूटेरस इज द ए कॉनिकल मॉडरेटली फिर्म ऑर्गेन अबाउट टू टू सेवन सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग एंड अबाउट टू पॉइंट फाइव सी एम इन आउटसाइड डायमीटर इन इट्स कोर्स फ्रॉम द ओएस एक्सटर्नस यूटेरी इट फर्स्ट वाइड एन देन ग्रो नैरोअर एट इट्स एंट्रेंस इन टू द केविटी ऑफ द यूटेरस दिस पॉइंट ऑफ एंट्रेंस बींग नोन एज द ओएस इंटरनम यूटेरी A central spinal shaft canal communicates with the uterus above the vagina below. The portion of the cervix which lies in the vagina is known as portio vaginalis of cervix. The function of the cervix is to be provide alkaline secretion for the penetration of the sperm. It acts as a sphincter when the uterus become gravids. the uterosacral ligament and transverse cervical ligaments support the cervix histology of cervix the intravaginal portion of the cervix is covered by the stratified squamous cell which usually extend to the just inside the external os innervation and blood supply innervation of the cervix is via the second third and fourth sacral nerve and the pelvic sympathetic plexus the cervical artery and veins major branches of the uterine circulation carry most of the blood to and the from the cervix clinical importance cervical cancer is the second most common female malignancy breast carcinoma is first cervical infection is a major cause of infertility ab hum janenge uterus ke bare mein the uterus is the organ of gestation in which the fecundated ovum is received nourished and supported till the proper period of its expulsion at parturition in its virgin state of the uterus constitute the pivot around which all the physical and nervous energies of the female organism and its functional perfection exercises a powerfully controlling influence upon the physical health and social and moral happiness the generative organs constitute the grand center of the female economy all the other organism and functions of the women are more or less in sympathy which intense with these and from the full healthy and harmonious development of the sexual system come the rudy chick and elastic step the buoyant womanly spirit and all that constancy of love and the affection which so pre eminently characterized beautify and innovel the female sex and the impregnated uterus become at once one of the largest and certainly the most important organ in the body of the female in her highest state of physical development it begin then the true physiological center of the most ex selected vital care activity the reproductive seat of life within life the virgin or unimpregnated uterus is a hollow pear shaped 
conoid muscular organ in which the fertilized ovum is retained until the fetus is fully developed the adult non pregnant uterus is about 7 to 8 cm long and is about 4 cm its wide diameter and about 1.5 cm thickness of its valve it lies between the rectum and the bladder it is placed at the right angle of vagina and the plane of the pelvic brim the normal position is called anteversion it has two parts jaise ki the upper two third of the uterus are called the body or corpus and the lower third is called cervix the cervix uteri extend about 1 half inch into the vagina and its at apex or free extremity are found the os uteri the cervix uterus is about 1 inch in length and constricted at the point of union with the body of uterus the vagina embraces the cervix at its upper third the body of uterus provides mucous membrane which is suitable for the implantation and to contain the fetus till the it is mature its cavity is triangular it its lateral border given attachment to second layer of broad ligament the portion of fallopian tube passes the muscle wall of uterus at each corner the uterus is supported by ligaments is so, pehla the muscular round ligament next the broad ligament the uterosacral ligament and fourth the transverse cervical ligament and the levator any muscles and accompanying fascia histology the uterine wall is composed mainly of the interwoven smooth muscle fibers which are especially thick in the fundal portion the muscular meshwork is per perforated by the vascular supply the cavity is small and is lined by endometrium which thickens bleeds disquamates and regenerates periodically during reproductive life innervation efferent impulses leaves the uterus via s2 and s4 the efferent impulses reach, reach the central nervous system via the post period roots of t5 and t12 l1 and s2 s4 and carry sympathetic stimuli blood supply the uterine circulation is derived from the uterine and ovarian arteries and vein lymphatic embryologically the uterine lymphatic system is derived from venous channel clinical importance The uterus is capable of enormous expansion to accommodate the product of conception during pregnancy it increases in weight from about a maximum of 90 g to about 1 kg and its capacity is multiplied more than 4000 times uterine tumors cause gynecological logic problems such as abnormal uterine bleeding and pelvic pain cancer of the uterine corpus is the second most common female genital malignancy exceeded only by the cervical carcinoma fallopian tube ab hum janenge fallopian tube ke bare mein the fallopian tubes are the pair of delicate peristaltic ducts 10 to 12 cm in length each extend from the corner of the uterus and opens into the peritoneal cavity 
they provide a passes for for the ovum to the uterus and are mobile and assist ovum onward by peristalsis it has four parts jaise interstitial part it lies in the musculo culature of the uterus next isthmus it is straight and cord like with thick muscular wall next ampulla it is quite wide fourth infundibulum its terminal portion has fimbrial process which helps to the attract ovum ovum clinical importance isme pehla jo hai picks up and transports ovum from ovary next seat of fertilization of ovum transports transports zygote to the uterine cavity if both tube are completely occluded conception cannot occur with partial occlusion retention of the fertilized ovum within the tube may result in the tubal pregnancy e infection of the tube serpentitis with the resultant scarring occlusion and infertility is a common sequel to the septic abortion and gonorrhea ab hum janenge ovary ke bare mein one on either side is a sex gland or gonad in women producing the ova and sex hormone the adult ovary is a solid flat a wide body measuring about 4 cm in length 2 cm in wide and 1.5 cm in thickness it is attached to the posterior layer of the broods ligament by the mesovarium and is suspended from the uterine cornu by the ovarian ligament at the mesovarium lies the hilum of the ovary it is an intraperitoneal organ but remains uncovered by peritoneal organ but remains uncovered by the peritoneum clinical importance इसमें पहला जो है प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एस्ट्रॉइड सेक्स हार्मोन एस्ट्रोजेन प्रोजेस्ट्रोन एंड्रोजेन नेक्स्ट क्रोमोजोमल इंडोमेंट फॉर प्रोक्रिएशन थर्ड इट इज एन ऑर्गेन फॉर प्रोडक्शन रिपेनिंग एंड releasing for monthly mature ova during reproductive life fourth infertility follows failure of proper maturation of the ova as in phase defects of the menstrual cycle and retention of the fully developed ovum within a primary follicle which should have ruptured by but could not because of addition of the ovary to a neighboring organ or a thickened ovarian tunica following periophritis ab hum janenge pouch of douglas ke bare mein iska definition hai it is the deepest part of the pelvis it is a gap between bladder and peritoneal cavity with following relation is a pehla jo hai anteriorly posterior surface of the supra vaginal cervix posterior va- vaginal wall and fornix posteriorly the rectum behind which lies lower portion of sacrum laterally sacro uterine folds of peritoneum recto vaginal septum lies in between the vaginal and rectal on the floor contents few coils of s- small intestine may lies corpus luteum iske definition ke bare mein jante hain corpus luteum is a gray yellow body in the ovary formed out of the ruptured mature graphene follicle 
following ovulation it is formed by the action luteinizing hormone lh introduction after ovulation the ruptured follicle does not degenerate at once but is transformed temporarily into the glandular structure the term corpus luteum is in some way a misnomer for the color is grayish or grayish yellow until the onset of next menstrual period if the ovum is non fertile the resulting corpus luteum is called corpus luteum of menstruation ya fir corpus luteum menstruation is and if fertilize occurs the corpus luteum is called corpus luteum of pregnancy ya fir corpus luteum gravi dietitis ya fir varnam varam soon after ovulation and escape of liquor follicle folliculi the walls of the corpus luteum collapse and the stigma is closed by the by means of a plug of plasma stage of development isme pehla jo hai first stage of proliferation second stage of vascularization third stage of maturity fourth stage of retrogression function it secret progesterone and estrogen to dosto ye tha internal genitalia ka anatomy of vaginal part 2 jisme hum jane about cervix uterus ovary fallopian tube corpus luteum pouch of douglas next video mein hum janenge puberty menarch and adolescence अगर हमारा वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो जरूर चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग थैंक यू